UVing is an integrated part of the modelling process, and the tools in any application should reflect this. But thanks to the way Modo is designed, UVing couldn't be any more integrated. Thanks to the way Vertex data is stored in Modo, a wide variety of modelling operations will result in clean, error-free UVs. For example, beveling polygons, adding or removing or sliding edge loops, and most impressive of all, bridging, will not only maintain UVs, but will also create any additional UVs that might be required. As well as the standard mapping tools that allow you to do planar, cylindrical, spherical, atlas, cubic and barycentric projections, many of which are fully interactive, Modo also allows you to project UVs from a 3D viewport, unwrap UVs interactively using either conformal or angle-based methods, or quickly unwrap tubular objects with a single click. But it's when you come to edit UVs that Modo really shows why integration is so powerful. Due to the generic nature of many of Modo's modelling modifiers, you're also able to use them in the UVing context as well as the modelling context. Modo's selection tools will work the same in UV space as they do in 3D space, transform tools will work in UV space and will respect any action centres that you have active, and most useful of all, falloffs will also work allowing you to easily deform your UVs. You can even use sculpting tools to smudge and smooth UVs. Other editing tools allow you to align, orient, flip, rotate, mirror and fit UVs as well as sew UV islands. And UV distortion can be displayed in the UV viewport as well as the 3D viewport. Modo also fully supports UV symmetry, and if an initial projection is not symmetrical, it can be quickly symmetrized. Modo also has a packing utility that will automatically scale, orient and position UV islands within the 0 to 1 UV space. It also allows you to pack any selected UV islands to a defined UDIM for export to MARI. It's inevitable that once you've UV'd and textured a model that you're going to need to do some kind of adjustment to the geometry, even if it's just a small tweak. By activating slip UVs, Modo will automatically adjust your UVs relative to any transform that you might make, meaning little or no stretching will occur. UVing will never be an artist's favourite job, but in Modo, thanks to the level of integration, the job's a whole lot easier as it sits comfortably and seamlessly alongside the whole modelling process.